Okay, back on our mini bike project, I've got this 800 watt, 36 volt DC motor, and it came with this little teeny tiny number 25 sprocket uh, that's held on by a nylock nut here. And one thing to keep in mind is this is a reversed thread. So to unscrew that nut, that has to be turned clockwise to loosen. And then I can uh, pull that sprocket off and right next to it, I just got in the mail my number 35 sprocket, which matches the number 35 chain and this 62 uh, number 35 drive sprocket I got on the back. Um, boy, this uh, it's, it's a much heavier, thicker sprocket. Of course, right there in the middle is the same. So now that can go on here. I'll just, just have to make sure that's on nice and snug and straight. Uh, put the nut back on again Lefty tighty in this case. I'll need to tighten that down. I was just using a vice grips to hold the uh, sprocket in place while tightening it down uh, I'll need to shorten the chain and then hopefully I can get this up and running Okay, I just got this chain wrapped around here I have most of a master link, but not the little clip that actually holds the plate on so I'm gonna have to replace that but I got the batteries hooked up. I got the key power to on. I got the throttle down here, still a foot throttle, not a hand throttle, but let's push the throttle, see what happens here. pretty good top speed as best I can tell. Um, it's 60 tooth here, 10 tooth here, so it's about a 6 to 1 gear reduction. Uh, the chain, we still need some tightening, so I'll have to scoot this over. And then um, these are not perfectly in line here, so I gotta do a little bit more with that, but looks like it's gonna work just fine. Okay, this is not safe. Do not try this at home. No chain guard, gotta work on alignment. Uh, no brakes. But let's see if this works. Oh, chain came off. <laughs> okay, the chain popped right off. Um, motor definitely needs tensioning, among other things. That scared me. <laughs> <laughs> 